So when does your school year start? I know the usual North American schedule is September to May or June. But here in Costa Rica where we live, it usually starts in February and goes to November, something like that. And so that's why this video is coming out now. We just started our school recently. Uh, we've been through two weeks already, our year of homeschooling. And actually they've been very enjoyable and worked amazingly well. So we'll see how the rest of the year goes. But anyway, since I've been on the theme of prayer for a while now, I wanted to share about prayer for your school year. And prayers that you can pray on the first day of the school year and throughout the rest of the year. As homeschooling mamas, we often carry a lot of titles, a lot of weight. We have the house to keep up with, the children. Often, in my case, I have younger children. And, and then I homeschool yet. Homeschooling is not for everyone, but if it is for you, maybe you would be blessed and encouraged by this because God is the one who calls us, whether it's to homeschooling or sending our children to school. And he will give us the grace for what we need and the strength and the wisdom. So when going into your year of homeschool, here's some things you can pray about. Pray especially for yourself as a mom, as a busy mom. Pray for wisdom because there's so many things we need to decide. What curriculum, what schedule, what routine, what goes, what not, what do we keep, what not. And so pray that God would bless you and guide you and teach you as the teacher of your children and as the mom too because those are the same and yet different roles in many senses. And so we need to know how to find the balance, how to find balance to everything in our life. Pray about your priorities. Yes, like I mentioned about balance. So when is it more important to help your children with schoolwork and when is it more important to do housework? That's something I'm trying to balance. Uh, there's so many things about priorities. When is it more important to drop school and do something else? And when is it more important to stick with your schoolwork? Uh, all those things we can bring to God and He will give us wisdom. It says, He says that if anyone lacks wisdom, let him ask of God. So I want to encourage you in that. <clears throat> Pray for patience too because just being a mom of little ones can try our patience sometimes. And especially if we stick school in yet, then we need God's grace to help us to be patient and God's strength to help us too to know what is the right answer, how to train our children and how to deal with things so that we, because being impatient will hurt our children in the end more if we, I many times have had to apologize to my children, I've given them the freedom to tell me when I'm impatient. And often enough I hear, Mommy, you're being impatient. And so then I have to reset and say, Okay, sorry about that. Now let's see, how can I do this in a patient way? And often it means enforcing consequences. Okay, I'm going to be patient, but I'm going to, if you don't listen, then this will be the consequence. And because they don't like sharp words from my mouth. And so then I change it. And I found that it is much better for them and for me too to give myself a check check in my spirit. Pray for joy because we want our hearts to be filled with joy. We want to enjoy what God is, has given us to do and sometimes some seasons are harder than others. But I've been blessed with how God has given me joy lately in being a mom, a homeschool mom, homemaker mom of little children and there have been harder seasons and I'm sure there will be hard seasons. But we can always ask God to fill our hearts with joy and thankfulness for Him. Pray for your children, for their studies, for the younger children, that they would be happy during school hours. For wisdom when you don't know what to do. Pray for their future. What do children need to study? Some need to study more for the future God has called them. Some don't need to study so much. Some it's harder, some it's easier. Ask God to bless your children and to help you and help them through this school year. I would say also pray about your children's social life. The question often comes up, how will children socialize as homeschoolers? And that doesn't worry me, but because I think there's many ways to have friends even if they don't go to school. But here where we live especially, I have a hard time finding good friends for my children. And so it's a prayer that has been on my heart often and it continues to be. And I've seen how God has provided friends for them. One or two here or there. 
and I keep asking him and you can do the same too. Pray that your home would be a peaceful, joyful place where learning can take place freely. Because we need our home atmosphere to be a restful place and not school doesn't work with the best. Pray also for your community because even as homeschoolers we are part of a bigger community of people and pray for a way that you can be a blessing to others or ways that others can be a blessing to you. The new school year will probably be a challenge for you when you face it and you might be seeing this video later in the year if your school year is later or maybe you're watching it ahead of time and you'll remember later but God will give you grace and strength to go through it. If he has called you to this then go on with courage and ask him for wisdom and thank him for the privilege you have of being a mom and being a homeschool mom. May God bless your homeschool and bless you as a mom today. We'll see you next time.